One of the topics in victimology that I find very, very fascinating is the image of the victim in, in different cultures. In our own culture, uh, which is, a, is the, based on Christianity, we, we have the image of the victim as a passive sufferer. We expect the, the victim to, to, to suffer deeply and we sympathize with that suffering. But on the other hand, we expect the victim uh, to be a passive sufferer, not to be angry, not to speak up, not to confront the offender too much. We are very, very cautious uh, of, of allowing the victim uh, to express his anger. This is contrary to our beliefs. What is so fascinating is to see that the image of the victim in the Arab world is, is fundamentally different. Uh, in a Sharia court, the victim uh, is an awesome figure that can really determine the outcome of the trial. And I try to understand uh, the deeper philosophical and religious roots of these different images of the victim. And I'm also fascinated to see whether uh, an exchange of, of views and ideas between these two belief systems, the, the Christian system and, and the Arab uh, Islamitic system, uh, could, could lead to a kind of a compromise, to a mutual exchange, so that we can form a truly universal image of the victim that can guide victim policies in the future.